Hello Capricorn, I'm always so excited when I get to you guys because after this I get to be done. Ah, but this isn't about me, this is about you. I'm happy that you've tuned in, thank you for checking out these videos at my channel Capricorn. Uh, I do really enjoy reading for you guys. We're uh, still into our weekly readings, um, wanting to know what the messages for Capricorn are for the second week of February. What are the messages for Capricorn in the second week of February? That's Capricorn. Second week of February. Cool. I just wanted to take a moment and uh, thank you all for uh, viewing um, and for the thumbs up and the thumbs down thingy. Uh, your feedback is really awesome to have. Uh, I really do enjoy doing this for you guys and I'm just happy uh when you guys tune in that's that's amazing so in your uh weekly reading this week the overall energy we have here is the page of pentacles which is uh pretty typical of capricorn here let's go forward let's go out into the world let's make the most of what we have and let's attain more where we can through our resourcefulness um so that's really good for an overall energy I'm going to set this off to the side for now. I got to mention that the energies have been a little bit heavier this week. I think it's due to the eclipse and the full moon. Tarot tends to want to shine light a little deeper uh, for introspection. And a lot of readings surrounding full moons I found through the years of reading. Um, so, you know, not everybody's have been light and cheery uh, this week. Um, but let's, let's see what you guys got. Let's see if we can really turn the page here with Capricorn. Um, we got a seven of cups in your grounding house. So the energy surrounding this is that, uh, you might not be overly grounded in this second week of February. You kind of might be like, kind of, uh, really reaching for the stars here. Not so much like daydreaming, but this is really kind of like, overreaching this is i think you guys have been working hard and i i you just have a feeling to say that some of you might already like kind of be you know living living in a in the future almost like you're picturing yourself already super successful when really there's lots of miles to go so i just want to give out a quick uh shout out a shout out to to you that are kind of um you know really like forging ahead and being successful um it might be important for you guys to like really just take a, a night of your free time just to really settle down and settle in if you've been working hard all week and then you're going to go out and party that's you know it might not bode well you may just need a little bit more grounding this is good this is like a lot of choice going on this but this does it's like almost too much choice there can be indecision and uncertainty. And this is in matters of the heart to begin with. So we're like, we got two two things that are like kind of anti-grounding. Like we got wish fulfillment. We got lots of choice going on. So in order for these correct choices to come forward, I think that we have to really ground ourselves uh, and do, do whatever practices you do to make sure that that's happening. Okay, overall a positive card, just not the most grounding card to be in that first position here. So it goes back to that. Oh, wow. So there we go. In uh, creativity, we have Ace of Cups. So some of you might be looking at a potential partners here um, this week and, and even further into February, March of, of people you would maybe even like to start families with, long-term partnerships long-term lovers you have to, i get a feeling you're you some of you have just started dating again and or f like found someone to date and it's like really exciting energy uh you're gonna be like kind of liberated uh in a sexual way i feel for some of you uh coming up here in february and march uh because this person is meaningful to you uh this person you've connected with is is someone you can see yourself with in the long term this one here, when I look at creation, this is like heart creation. This is like 
uh, baby making type stuff like to, well typically that's the ace of wands but ace of cups too like on the on the feminine side that's a baby making cycle or or uh, getting started laying down the framework for that to happen in your life this family is important to you capricorn so i think for some of the younger viewers this is really kind of you've met someone here and it's or about to meet someone here where this is really going to take hold uh, in your creative house, you guys are going to be enjoying each other's company, I think, too, doing things together that you both enjoy. It might even be like singing or something like that, I get a feeling of. So really good energy there. Um, into the solar plexus or the gut instinct card, you got an emperor card reversed. Okay, so with this guy coming up and being a bit reversed... This is showing you kind of letting go a lot of ways to your kind of structured ways. Um, maybe just going a little bit more with the flow, not always having to like um, kind of dictate, you know, your time based on former routine, that kind of thing. That kind of energy is what I'm getting a sense of. This is kind of like a mixed up energy for, for gut feeling. And this really means to like liberate yourself, like be free um you know uh the power of suggestion if the opportunity is there to go out and have fun somewhere i see you guys doing that um and i see you like and this could be this is exhilarating type stuff i don't know if some of you are like going skiing or like taking a risk taking a chance uh that kind of thing new environments for some of you places you've never been before that kind of thing, things that are really kind of like making you go, oh, you know. So, and again, another good card here, Capricorn. I got to say, this is really positive stuff coming for you guys this second week of February. Sacred Heart, uh, Three of Swords. Okay, so given lieu of this in your, in your sacral and this in your heart, what we could be looking at here is... Um, you just, and it's good, it's reversed. This could just be you finally like dealing with or getting out some of them final things from like all of these past relationships kind of culminating like past relationship, past relationship, past relationship, culminating to this one point here of understanding that you have um, so that this can really happen. I, I get a feeling like there are going to be some hard expressions there might be like some final just like deep like who or those final text messages going out like okay you know what like we dated you broke my heart or we we broke up um but you know what i think it's a good idea if we just stop texting each other now like we can be friends but i just need to take a bigger break from you like there's no hope of getting back together with me because I'm really starting something new here. So those kind of messages may be going out from the heart here again. With this Three of Swords uh, here. Um, it's good. This is a healing card as well. This as well as maybe like your heart being like, okay, I'm I'm ready now. I'm re I see I see some of the, the bullshit that's come forward from people in the past. I know warning signs, red flags to look for in potential lovers. So now I'm in a really good place uh, to feel confident and secure in this letting go in order to open yourself to, to this long-term lover. So there's a really good, really good card so far. Let's have a look in personal truth. Whoa, we got the Empress here. So again... Uh, we got some of you may even be like this baby maker might already have uh, something might have already taken hold there in terms of uh, seeds and fertility uh, here uh, leading into this week or happening this week. So that's really good if you're desiring it. Um, manifesting um, that kind of energy like creating a person and bringing a, a spirit in from source to be a part of your life and be a part of your family is it's a beautiful thing. So, and if this is something that you're trying, if you're trying here, um, express it. Express it. Talk to your friends about the fact that you're, they, this is, you know, what you're doing, what you're wanting. And as well, a little bit of future visioning. We'll see what we get when we get to here. But this Empress is definitely in manifesting. So, if you're trying, like, I'd already be looking at, like, 
like uh, don't do this in front of your partner, your potential partner, but like start looking at like baby clothes or maternity clothes or like strollers or whatever it is. Like it won't resonate for all of you. I get it. This is a, some of you that will be watching. These cards wouldn't be here otherwise if we weren't looking at things, uh, nature of conception. Um, and with this Empress being here in personal truth, if going back to this, if you do have other suitors, a choice between a couple people, make sure that you're very clear and direct um, in telling them like, okay, this is, we're friends, but that's all it's going to be. Um, and I'm, I'm moving on here. I'm going forward in this direction. She's very powerful, the Empress. You, she doesn't seem like super powerful at first. You just think, oh, this is kind of like a nice, benevolent, like innocent energy. But this really has the power to crack the world open and to like really start bringing things in from source, whatever that may be. So when you're speaking, I get a feeling people are really going to be paying attention to you this week, especially if you're speaking about you know, creative endeavors, um, and just truly about how you're feeling on the inside about this person. Don't hide it away. If you met somebody and you are truly feeling in love, don't feel like, oh, other people will be mad if I'm, like, flaunting my happiness. No, go ahead and express it. Like, you don't have to be super blunt or, like, obnoxious about it, but, like, well, you're not that way anyways to begin. Well, some of you are. But, like, just like, <laughs> I'm sorry, um, uh, just like express it, right? So that it can, like those words, those thoughts that are becoming words eventually do become that which you hope, okay? Really good cards, Capricorn. Really good. I'm sorry, I called you obnoxious. All right, here we go in the uh, house of uh, vision questing of, and spiritual growth here. I think some of you might have missed out on some opportunities, um, but that's okay. This card is reversed. It means it's not a big deal here. Um, it just shows out that you might have missed out um, on a certain opportunity, but it's kind of a moot point anyways. Um, it shows for a little bit of refocusing needed when it comes to matters of spirit. For those of you that this is pertinent to, um, this is the mental preparation. Um, you know, this giving up of this sort of, um, you know, this independence uh, to enter into this openly. You're closing that out. So there's a lot going on. There actually is a lot to think about. You now it comes down to spirit and you're going through these levels of expansion. Sometimes it can be overwhelming. So you got to take some time for yourself just to really get grounded because, you know, if there's anything weaker coming through in this reading, it's this, you know, this kind of this so much energy, so much bliss almost coming through that it could lead to like, if you're like uh, weakened immune systems and like uh, um, forgetting to like eat properly and things like that. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I am getting that for some of you that you might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed with the amount of positive things coming your way this week and then and naturally your kind of your mind will and your ego will try to balance that being like bah, 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 bah. oh yeah you, you didn't do that right you didn't do this right you got to think about this and you got to think about that when really it's like if you could just ground that to shut that ego up and then be like living from spirit through this expression and having these positive things manifest in your life, you'd be in a really good place. So just watch out for your ego trying to keep you up at night and telling you that you're not good enough because you are good enough. You deserve all the love and the light that the universe has to give to you. Okay. Then the crown position, we've got king of wands reverse. So this is kind of interesting. This could speak to uh, this potential partner that's coming up. This could also be a warning and because it's in a reversal of an ex-boyfriend who's not going to take too well to a new situation with a man friend uh, or a girlfriend, uh, ex-girlfriend jealousy type things. Um, I did pick up gender strongly in this reading. I feel like Capricorn we got a lot of ladies coming through. Um, but gentlemen that uh, here, like, I'm sorry if this didn't resonate as strongly with you. There's just so much feminine energy here, um, on this particular reading. Um, but yeah, it could go either way for those of you that are, uh, are, are male. Um, this King of Wands 
So this is this is going to be interesting because this is what the universe is sending to you. So if you're if you are remaining confused and ungrounded here and like in a state of worry, you could be manifest and not taking care of this business what's coming through in the in the heart because the heart and the crown are so directly related right uh, if you're not taking care of this this lather over here right this stuff isn't going to be able to come up so if this isn't dealt with like sending out those final texts telling you know x's to you know say okay well it's over is no means no over is over like there's no potential if you don't take care of that stuff. If you let your ego creep in and say, "Oh, you should have given him a better shake," you know, you're not you're not good enough. Then you could be manifesting some X trouble. Okay, if you can deal with that stuff, all right. If you let this shine, your personal truth shine, and you let these foundations like really, this is calling to say to have hope. This is like I think this is a happening for a lot of you, but you some of you are gonna have to trust that it is as good as it is. Like you know that old saying, "Too good to be true." Well, sometimes it's just so darn good because it is true, right? And that's kind of like being able to trust that, and then that could be reflective of of the new lover coming in. I would have liked a little bit if this had to come in like this. I would have known for sure this is the new lover, but this one coming in like this is still creating a little bit of mystery, and maybe this lover this new lover is good at creating that mystery he's still good at like kind of like you know dangling that carrot like being like okay let's let's get a little passion rolling here let's i'm like he's still in that flirtation stage you know with you so maybe there is that air of mystery surrounding this person as well i'm really interested to see what happens with this next week capricorn um it's been a pleasure to uh to read for you so here we go there you are, and then we got a bit of mystery going on with him. So I really enjoyed this reading, and I, and I hope you all have a wonderful week. And uh, the weeks are just flying by here, so it won't be long till we reconnect, and we'll see you soon, Capricorn.